This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. Your stem cells, your health, your life. Tyler N. Nick Haig is currently assigned as flight engineer for Expedition 5758, which is scheduled to launch from Russia aboard the Soyuz 56S in October. Selected by NASA as an astronaut in 2013, he completed training in 2015. Born in 1975 in Belleville, Kansas, he considers Hoxie his hometown. He is married to Lieutenant Colonel Katie Haig, U.S. Air Force. They are the proud parents of two sons. His parents, Don and Bev Haig, reside in Garing, Nebraska. He earned a B.S. in Astronautical Engineering from the U.S. Air Force Academy and Master of Science in Aeronautical and Astronautical Engineering at MIT in 2000. In late 2004, he deployed for five months to Iraq in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom, conducting experimental airborne reconnaissance. In 2006, Nick joined the Department of Astronautics faculty at the Air Force Academy. He was, prom he was promoted to colonel in June 2016. In this interview released by NASA, Nick talks about the mission, the risk, and the rewards of his career. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one of the things that you know, I've done uh, over the course of the last two years, we do uh, about three dozen different integrated simulations where they throw every failure they can think at, think of at us. And uh, over the last two years, I've gotten an appreciation for just how robust the Soyuz uh, spacecraft is. Um, you know, we plan for success and, and also all of the other contingencies. And, uh, and we exercise against all of those, those different failures and different contingencies. And, and we're still able to get the, you know, the mission done, get to the station and, and still get home. So uh, if anything, I've got a very high um, appreciation for just how solid of a spacecraft it is. How tough is it training uh, for a flight on a Soyuz in a second language? It just strikes me as a really daunting challenge. It, it is. Uh, you know, day one of showing up at NASA back in 2013, I started Russian language classes, and uh, it continues to this day. Uh, it's really trying to uh, learn to appreciate the language and the culture and, and think so that you can connect with your crewmate. Um, you know, what makes, it, uh, what makes it easier is that my crewmate, uh, my commander, Alexei Achenin, uh, is doing the exact same thing. He's learning English and he's trying to, to meet me on my terms. And so together we, we develop this uh, ability to work with each other and predict what each other is doing. Uh, you know, we're both products of military systems and so we think in very similar ways. Uh, and so that's also helped us click together as a crew. Yeah, so you know, risk is a is a big part of it. Uh, you know, the other part of it is the reward and and what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, you're right. My wife is active duty Air Force. Uh, we're both active duty Air Force, and and you know, we've both served uh, you know 20 years. Uh, so, I think our approach to risk is that we look at it as what we're trying to accomplish, and and we both believe in what we're doing is is going to help others. And it's going to, you know, serve something larger than ourselves. Uh, so I, I think that we accept those risks. Um, we don't blindly accept them. Obviously, we train to try to minimize as much of that as possible. Um, but, but that's why we're doing it. Uh, yes, my family is going to join me in Baikonur to, to watch the launch. So Katie's going to bring over the boys, and uh, they're going to see their first rocket launch. So it should be an exciting time. Fort Wallace was the fightingest fort in the West. Fossils, Indians, soldiers, scouts, wagons, trails, pioneers, stories. Discover the story of Fort Wallace and the people who served here, the people who fought here, the people who settled here. Wallace County, where the past is present.